Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Bible Journaling. I am Bonnie Krebs with another project for you. So this week we're gonna work our way through the He Leads Me set, so that's this covered bridge set. We're gonna use the three main pieces in this set. Um, we're also going to need from the foliage set, we're gonna need the vine, the little tiny grass, and the little branch. And then from the flower set, so the long stem, the filler flower, and this tiny little guy right here. So we are ready to go. I have uh, prepped my page, so I'm all ready to go. I've got my watercolor ground on here, and I've buffed it out so it's really smooth. So we are ready now to stamp the basic image. And we're going to ink it in two colors. So the, the blue, and I'm just getting the majority of the area where the fences are and the, and the covered bridge. And then we're gonna stamp, we're gonna ink over the top of that the brown. So this is kind of a sepia color, kind of a brown. And then I'm gonna go back over these lines where the grass is. So these areas down under here, I'm gonna go over those with the green. Okay, and I'm, I've got a lot of ink on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it off first just so that I don't get it too dark in my Bible. And then I'm gonna stamp it about halfway down uh, right next to the text. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. And then I'm gonna add the fence to it now. So the fence actually can sit anywhere depending on how long your margin is and how much of it you want to illustrate. So you can move it clear up here or you can drop it down and make your uh, image a little longer. So we're going to ink it the same way again. So the blue. And the brown. And just get that whole thing covered. I'm gonna stamp this off again as well. So kind of follow the same routine here. Stamp that off so that it's not too dark in my Bible. And then I'm gonna stamp it in here just like that. Okay, so we've got our two basic images ready to go. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, and that is to pull the color out of the line. So I'm gonna uh, dip my brush in water and really pinch it off. And you can see these lines are very, very small. So it doesn't take much water to pull this color out. So we're just for dragging our brush along, along the edge. And I'm pinching it off every time. So I dip it in water, pinch it off, and then uh, smooth the lines. And I can come down here and do the same with this little fence. Such a fun process, it really is. And the more that you stamp these things, the better at it you're gonna be. And over and over, we just use the same elements. So once you kind of learn the rules of how to stamp them, you're really good to go. So we can see we've still got some green in here, so that's good. And we'll add some more detail in here as we go. Okay, so we've got the first step finished. So let's kind of go on from here and let's work on this area down here. So I'm gonna start out with this little branch and I'm just gonna ink that in a dark green and I'm just gonna kind of stamp this in here uh, just in a few different places like that. And then I'm going to add my little flowers. So let's just pick kind of a, a dusty purple here. This is a 679. And I'm just gonna ink a few of these because this area is small and I don't need to have um, a huge, huge bloom in here. So just like that, I'm gonna put a few more down in here and then some over here. And maybe just a few over on the side. And that looks pretty good. We can add a few more of those later. So I'm going to dip my brush now and just add a little water to these flowers. and just blend it out. You can see when the water hits it, it changes the color, kind of activates that color. 
brightens it up a little bit, changes the shape so that you can't tell it's a stamp. Perfect. It's almost like magic. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some vines in here now. So we need to get some green in here. So let's ink this one up and I'm just gonna use the tips. Again, just kind of like the flowers. I don't need a lot of uh, foliage in here. I don't need this whole vine. So I just wanna get um, a little bit of it in here. And then I will dip my brush in water and soften up these lines. So it's stamp or ink and then soften the lines. Okay, that looks good. So let's come underneath here now with the small grass. And we can change the color up here a little bit. So let's just ink it with the bright green. And just kind of follow this area down. And let's just, whoops, let's just fix that. And then just dip your brush in water, pinch it off. Just like so. And let's come over here where I messed that up and just kind of add some grass in here. We can add some flowers into it later, so this is not gonna be a problem. And I'm just pulling a little more of this color out into this fence. I kinda want it to look like an old, kind of uh, weathered white fence. And that looks like that's what we've got. So let's keep going here. And I'm just gonna take the fine tip of my brown and I'm just gonna really darken in these little, these little windows here. I want that really, really dark. And then I'm gonna add a little color to my palette now so that I can add some more color to the roof. So I'm gonna add a little brown and some blue. And I'm just gonna add some of this blue inside this bridge onto the floor. And as you come out, I wanna kinda of see that shadow on the road. So I'm adding a little green now too. And I'm just kind of brushing in this hill. And we can brush in a little of this water now. So underneath here, we've got the water going. little green background and then I'm gonna add a little color now to the roof just want to make sure I get this dark enough and you can just kind of drag this color uh, across the path Okay, that looks good. So let's add some foliage in here now. Let's use this light green and we'll add this tiny, tiny little, um, it's actually a little blooms, but it works great as foliage as well, especially in the background. So I'm just gonna add it into the background here. And just make sure I'm stamping it over and over again. And then just add water. And 
Okay, so let's keep going. We're going to add some grass now in here, so that tiny little grass. I'm gonna kind of come in behind, uh, underneath these little flowers so that we kind of cement those down a little bit. And then down the hill. And over here. And just in here. The grass kind of fixes everything. And let's just add a little more color back in the background. So we can take that same purple and just ink just a couple of these just to kind of add some color back here. Okay. Just blend out this color now on the sides. This is where it's fun to do all the little details. I'm just going to take a little of this blue now and just add a little bit to the front. So I'm going to cover this um, this little covered bridge now. I'm just going to use a, a little post-it tape and just kind of cover this up. I'm going to add some trees in here now. And I want to make sure that I'm not stamping over the top of that. So I'll just cover this up right here. And then I'll ink my tree. And I'm just going to ink this with the brown. and then go back over the branches with the green. And then I'm just gonna stamp one over here. And I'll just move this over and stamp another one over here. And I'm just going to use that same little foliage and add some, some leaves now to the trees. Just kind of randomly here and there. And you can see I'm putting this on before I pulled any color out of the out of the line. So when it comes to the trees, it's it's um, a lot of times it's better just to wait, add the foliage to it, and then pull the color out of the lines. But try experimenting, doing it different ways. It's amazing how these little projects turn out so different, and everyone is using the same stamps, and yet everyone looks so different. I just love that about it. So now I've dipped my brush and I'm blending this all together. So just softening out all these lines. You can see that brown kind of blends in there a little bit too. And just kind of jump your brush around. The more you blend, the softer it's, it's going to get. So if you really, really like that watercolor, um, that look where it's very soft, just keep blending it out.
Okay, so let's add some sky in here. So I'm just gonna take some of this blue now and I'm just gonna brush in the sky. Just kind of jump your brush all around. Try not to do uh, straight strokes. Uh, just kind of push your brush um, just to create the idea of the sky. We are almost finished with this little project. Let's add a few more little flowers down in here. So I'm using a kind of a dusty rose color, number 757, Ink the Bloom. And then the stem. Let's put a few more of those in. And we'll add just a few more back in here. Okay, remember never to add water to the stem, only to the bloom. So I'm just touching these little flowers. Okay, I think we are about finished with this. You can certainly add more details to it if you'd like. Sometimes it's good to put it aside and go back to it the next day and look at it and see if you need to add anything else. You can do that because as soon as you touch it with your brush, you'll activate that color again. So uh, you can always go back and re um, review. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you like this project. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you do, and I will see you all back again with another one.